The wildfires in California are the deadliest in state history. More than 450 people are assigned to comb through the charred remains in search of 631 people who are still unaccounted for. Already, more than 60 people have been confirmed dead. The fires are affecting tens of thousands of people, including some South Dakota natives who are packed and ready to evacuate if they get the order. This is their scene by day, and this is their scene by night. Tom and Kay Overby shot these pictures with their cell phones. They have been living in constant fear since the massive wildfires broke out in California. Getting evacuated and then being stuck in traffic, like the people in Malibu, that is my biggest fear. I spoke with the couple who grew up in the vibrant Irene area via Facebook. The Overbees live in Moore Park, about six miles from some of the major fires. Tom says if they get the mandatory evacuation orders, they'll be ready because they've had an emergency plan in place since the last major fires almost a year ago. But even that could be a daring escape. There are three ways out. And when I think back to last December, and this could happen again, you could have two or even all three of those routes uh, not available. Tom's work had to evacuate last week, and school has been called off until after Thanksgiving for a lot of families. I just drove past our son's school today, half a mile up from his school. Um, it was burned down um, in, in two different directions. There were kids from his school that have evacuated at least four times. As the fires rage on, Tom and Kay are saddened for the families who have lost so much, but are thankful to everyone who's been thinking of them. And I do appreciate everyone's concern and everyone that's reached out to me on Facebook or through texting or email. It's meant a lot. It is tough, and the older we get, the more we miss South Dakota. Um, our daughter is there. Uh, we're very thankful she's there. Um, we look forward to being home someday. Along with the fires, the Overbees are also dealing with the aftermath of the mass shooting last week in California that left 12 people dead. One of the boys who died in that shooting attended their son's school.